Chrysler created the modern people mover when it introduced the first front wheel drive minivan back in 1983. Since then, the minivan segment has become one of the most competitive in the auto industry, as models like this new Dodge Caravan fight to offer family buyers the latest in versatility and convenience. And a Chrysler Group, that means the new Stow and Go seating system. What's that you don't know about Stow and Go? Well, watch and learn. Here's your typical scenario. Strap in the kids, cram in the groceries, and forget that trip to Walmart because there's no room and no time. Well, Daimler Chrysler has invested $400 million in a solution. It's called Stow and Go, and it's genius, really. The Stow and Go system allows all of the seats in the back, that's right, both third and second rows, to fold out of sight into the floor. Stow and Go is standard or available on all 2005 Dodge Grand Caravans. You'll also find Stow and Go standard on all extended length Chrysler Town & Country minivans. After spending two weeks with a Dodge Grand Caravan SXT, we're convinced that by creating an entirely new underbody, altering seat dimensions, and inventing a new way for those seats to fold, Chrysler Group engineers have reinvented the perfect bay for kid carrying, furniture hauling, or both. With the Stow and Go feature, the two captain's chairs in the second row and each part of the split 60-40 third row bench can be independently folded into deep floor wells. No more struggling to remove the seats for more room. Simply lift the floor panels and fold. You do have to move the front seats forward to fold the second row seats, but we found that to be only a minor inconvenience. In just 30 seconds, Stow and Go makes it easy to go from 17.6 cubic feet of storage with all seven seats occupied to a maximum of 160.7 cubic feet with the five rear seats stowed. And when the wells are not used for seat storage, they can store just about everything else out of sight. Downsides? Well, Stow and Go does eat up space, so all-wheel drive is no longer offered. And despite using high-density foam developed for NASA, the second and third row seat bottoms feel a bit thin for adult comfort on long trips, but kids probably won't notice the change. Traveler's aids on our Grand Caravan SXT include a standard power driver's seat, tilt wheel, AM FM CD cassette stereo, three-zone climate control with DVD navigation and rear entertainment system optional. With so much invested in Stow and Go, it will be a couple of more years before Grand Caravan sheet metal is overhauled. Powertrains are familiar too. The base Grand Caravan SE comes with a 3.3 liter V6 and our test SXT with the top of the line 3.8 liter overhead cam V6. It delivers 215 horsepower and 245 pound-feet of torque through a column shift four-speed automatic transmission. Off the line, there are no surprises with an adequate zero to 60 run of 10.2 seconds. The quarter mile takes place in 17.6 seconds at 79 miles per hour. Handling too is familiar. Dodge fits Grand Caravan with very soft springs to help compensate for the solid rear axle on truck-like leaf springs. Slowly pushing through the cones, our drivers experience copious front wheel drive understeer. Steering is light and quick, but feedback gets lost in the suspension and tires. The van tended to throw its weight around, resulting in a lot of body roll. Braking is by way of Grand Caravan standard ABS four-wheel disc brakes, which stopped our SXT from 60 in a longish average of 140 feet. Even with little pedal feel, the system works well enough, stops for straight and sure, but the soft springs contributed to much more nosedive than we like. The leaf springs also don't allow for class leading ride quality on rough roads, although most families will find it to be acceptable. The Grand Caravan was easy on the ears, however, using new quiet steel technology to significantly reduce road noise. EPA mileage estimates are typical for a minivan, 18 city and 25 highway on regular grade gas. Our test loop average was 20 miles per gallon. So, how much to break in your own stow and go? Well, the Grand Caravan SE with optional stow and go starts at $23,130. The SXT with standard stow and go goes for $27,185. Our well-optioned test van stickered out at $33,915.
That's very competitive, especially since Stow & Go has no real competition. While we know some buyers may not find Stow & Go reason enough not to consider other minivans, Stow & Go is the most important addition to minivans since Honda introduced the folding third row seat on its 1999 Odyssey. That feature is now an industry standard, and we predict Stow & Go will be as well for minivans and even SUVs. As they have done many times in over three decades, Chrysler Group engineers have once again changed the very core of minivan functionality. The 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan Stow & Go system is a clever articulation of seats that will not only captivate veteran minivan families, but even cause minivan phobics to take a closer look at the automotive innovation of the year. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week, when we'll test Scion's new TC Sports Coupe and Infiniti's QX56 Luxury Sport Ute. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit PBS online at pbs.org. Motor Week has been brought to you by The Stanley Works, makers of professional grade mechanics and automotive tools. Stanley, proud to support public television. Stanley, make something great. Information available at www.stanleytools.com. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.